Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to QHE channel. In this series of videos, Alhamdulillah, we are learning about Arabic derived nouns. Today, our topic is noun of time and place. Let's begin, inshallah. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Today, inshallah, we are going to go over the names of the types of derived nouns again. We're going to go over the list again. We're going to look into the conjugations of the noun and noun of time and place, which is called ismul wolf. And we're going to identify ismul wolf in Quran. Now let's learn about ismul wolf in general. Actually, be, before we do that, let's go over the list very quickly, inshallah. So this is a list of derived nouns, which are called mushtaq. These are all derived from nostal. So, so far, alhamdulillah, we learned about the active participle, ismul fa'il. We learned about passive participle, ismul maf'ul. And today we are gonna learn about the noun of time and place is wolf. Now let's learn about is wolf. So what is is wolf? Okay. Is wolf in general is referred as a time when or a place where the action described by the root letters occurs. There can be three basic patterns of ismul wolf. It can be maf'il, maf'al, maf'ala. So the patterns are such that, so these red letters are the root letters. We're showing these patterns in terms of fa, ayn, lam. So the patterns are such that the first root letter will carry a sukun and it is preceded by mim fatha. Second root letter will carry kasra, and the third root letter, especially for the singular form, it can carry, it can carry a dhamma or fatha or kasra, depends on the governing agent that comes before it. The other pattern is such that maf'al, and the third pattern maf'ala. So you can see there is a difference in the second root letter vowel. One has kasro and one has fatha. We'll talk about it a little bit more in a later slide. Now let's look into an example quickly to kind of incorporate this thought that is Mowarf is a time when or a place where the action described by the root letters occurs. Now for example, we have an example over here. So for example, over here we have root letters Goin, Ra, Ba. It takes this pattern, Goraba, Yarubu. So these root letters give the base meaning to set. Then the ismu warf will be Maghrib or Maghribun. If I read it as a continuing basis, Maghrib will mean that time or place of setting. So this is the action, which is described by the root letters. Okay. Now let's look into some more information about the diff about the different vowels for the second root letter. So let's look into that. Okay. So the vowel of the second root letter for ismu warf can be related to the vowel of the second root letter in the active present tense. Let's look into some example in this chart. So we have a chart here, it's carrying root letters, types, active present tense, and then ismu warf. So for example, for root letter jim, lam, sin, which takes type B, the active present tense is yajlisu. And the ismu warf for these root letters is majlis. 
So you can see the root letter has kasra for active present tense. Root letter also has kasra for ismu var. So there is a correlation. So when there is when the root letter is kasra for act in the active present tense conjugation, then the second root letter will also carry kasra for the ismu var as well. For example, for lam ain ba, which takes type C, yal abu. Over here, second root letter has fatha. Then ismu var is mal abu, mal abun or mal ab. So there is a correlation. Root, second root letter in the active present tense has fatha. Second root letter also for ismu var has fatha. Another example for S type B for root letters ذَلْهَابَ يَذْهَبُ Over here, second root letter is carrying fatha. And is verb also the second root letter carrying fatha. مَذْهَبَ Okay, so there is a correlation. In general, that is what maintained. Now, how about when the second root letter has dhamma? Because we know Ismu verb can either have maf'il, like majlis, or maf'al, or like mal'ab, madhab. Okay, so only can have these two conjugations. It cannot carry dhamma for the second root letter. But how about when you have second root letter carrying dhamma? For example, for the root letters, qarajim, this is type A, yakhruju, the Ismu verb is makhraj. For root letters shin ra qaf yashruku yashruku, the ismu verb is mashriq. So you can see when the root letter, second root letter carries bamma, then it can be, it can have both option. Depends on the particular set of root letter. It can the second root letter for the ismu verb can have fatha or it can it can also have kasra. Okay. Now let's go over the conjugations for ismu verb. Okay. So we have two tables here. One table corresponding to mafal conjugation and the other table for mafil. So let's go over them, okay? So we have three states, default, nasb, jar. We have singular, dual, and broken plural. This particular term, broken plural, we will learn a little bit more about it very soon. So for singular, mafalun, I'm reading as a continuing basis for for the default state. For the default state, singular, maf'alun. Dual, maf'alani. Broken plural, maf'alu. For the nasab, it will get fatha, right, at the end. Maf'alan, dual, maf'alaini. Broken plural, maf'ala. For the jar, for the singular, maf'alin, because it's jar, it will get kasra. Dual, maf'alaini, and broken plural, maf'ala. Okay, you can see it up to the dual, the ending is matching with ismul fa'il and ismul maf'ul. Okay, now let's go over the conjugations for the pattern maf'il. Maf'ilun, I'm, I'm reading the default state. Dual, maf'ilani, broken plural, maf'ilu. So the broken plural is same. It did not change for both the pattern. For the naqsub state, maf'ilan, dual, maf'ilaini, broken plural, maf'ila. Jar, maf'ilin, dual, Maf'ilaini, broken plural, maf'ila. Now let's go over few observation regarding broken plural, okay? You can see over here for the broken plural, it's containing 
only one vowel you would have thought okay it does not have any or any why it cannot carry a double vowel the way the singulars are carrying you also see for the jar it it does not there is no kasra at the end okay so let's learn about that over here we have a note broken plural words are categorized as ghair mansoor ghair munsarif ghair munsarif words they neither accept double vowels which is called tanween nor a single kasra so this is a very important po point broken plural words are ghair munsarif words they do not accept double vowels that's why you do not see double vowels also they do not accept single kasra that's why for the jar you do not see single kasra okay so that's an important point to learn now when we learn about ismul fa'il and ismul maf'ul we did not see broken plural we saw sound plural so what's the difference between sound plural and broken plural let's take a look okay so let's go over that so sound plural are plural words in which the basic pattern is contained Blo broken plural are plural words in which the basic pattern is broken what do i mean by that let's look into this chart sound plural comes for ismul fa'il and ismul maf'ul look at the basic pattern for ismul fa'il for singular fa'ilun dual fa'ilani plural fa'iluna the basic pattern is maintained right is contained fa'il 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 same for ismul maf'ul maf'ulun maf'ulani maf'uluna maf'ul 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 okay so that's why they are called these plurals are called sound plural where the basic pattern is not broken it's maintained but when it comes to ismu warf you can see it's not maintained look at ismu warf maf'alun maf'alani up to do it it is maintained maf'al maf'al but when it comes to plural it's mafa'ilu it's broken it has a different kind of conjugation it does not have maf'al conjugation it's not carrying that conjugation same thing for maf'il maf'ilani up to dual the conjugate the basic conjugation is contained but when it comes for plural it is not contained it is broken that's why they are called broken plural okay okay now let's go over some examples in quran so as usual inshallah i'm going to browse over the verse and i'm going to try to find ismu warf so the first thing i'm going to look for mim fatha okay so i'm look i'm looking for either maf'al or maf'il pattern so let's go over inshallah bismillah so I'm looking for any word that starts with mim fatha. So we have a word here, mashroba hum. Okay, mashroba. Okay, it matches with mafal. Let's see if I have any more. Any word that starts with mim fatha? No, we don't have. So let's identify this particular word that we found. Let me first, okay, no problem. Let's go over that. So our word is mashroba. Okay, so what is the identification? This is a singular word, right? This is not like mafari pattern. So in general, we are gonna say this is a time or a place of action. What is the state? State in this case, this is nasab. Okay, because this is this is singular. 
So if there is, so it will be clearly Dhamma for default state, Fatha for Nasab state, and Kasra for Jar state. It is not plural. Okay, the root letters are Sheen, Ra, Ba. So Sheen, Ra, Ba takes the pattern Shariba, Yashrabu, base meaning to drink. So what will be the final meaning? Because this is a time or place of action. And what is the action? Drinking, right? So the final meaning will be a time or place of drinking. Let's go over one more example. Let's find. Okay, so we have another verse here. So as I browse over, I see one word that starts with Mim Fatha and Maqabir matches with Mafa'il. So this is plural. Okay, this is a broken plural. Okay, so this is, this word is our pick. Okay, and let's go over the details, inshallah. Okay, so this is many times or places of action in general, right? Because this is a plural word. State, nafsu. How it's nasab, we are going to learn those details when we study. Now, at this time, uh, we know this is at the state of nasab. Root letters, of, ba, ra. So they usually take two patterns. Qabara, yaqbiru. Qabara, yaqburu. Okay? Base meaning to bury. Final meaning will be burial places. Okay, now let's go over some more verses which I already identified the ismu verb. Let's go over them, inshallah. So over here we have al mashriq al maghrib. Okay, so al mashriq, it is a time or place of action. This is obviously this is a singular word. So we can really tell from the ending vowel what state it is. So this has fat, sorry, this has kasra. So this is at the state of jaw. Root letters sheen, ra, qaf. So it takes the pattern sharaqa, yashruku, base meaning to rise. Final meaning a, a time or place to rise. Al Maghrib, we already solved this word in a previous slide. It will be a place or time to set. Okay, now in the next verse, we found the word Maqa'id. So this is matches with what? Mafa'id, right? So this is plural, broken plural. So this is, in general, we can say many times or places of action. State, in this case, this is the state of nasub, which we will learn in, in a later course, inshallah. Root letters are qaf, ayn, dal. They take the pattern qa'ada, yaqmu'udu. So this is like nasur or yangsuru, type A. Base meaning to sit. So what will be the final meaning? times or places of sitting. Let's go one more verse. So over here, the word we found, al-masajid. Okay, so this is again matches with mafa'il. So this is a broken plural. So in general, we are going to say many times or places of action. State, in this case, this is naqsab because of this particular uh, particle. Root letters are seem, jim, dal, sajada, yes, judu. Base meaning to prostrate. Final meaning would be many times or and places of prostrating. So basically, mosques. So this is the plural of masjid. Masajid is the plural of masjid, mosques. Alhamdulillah, we learned today about ismu We go, we went over the conjugation. We learned about broken plurals, and we went over some examples in Quran. Let's see what's coming up in the next session. 
in the next session, inshallah, we are going to learn about noun of usage. Ismul ala. And inshallah, we are going to identify them in Quran. Until then, please keep us in your dua. May Allah grant barakah on all your efforts. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.